is Ahmed Yavedi's Brief of Korea. Today's video, as I promised uh, a couple of weeks ago when I did uh, how to maneuver through the uh, EcoSmart Live program, that I would go back to it when I decided on a programming. Uh, well, this is the actual video, uh, but before we uh, start the video on what actually programming I'm using on the Vortex MP10, and then on the Radeon, I thought I'd let you know, as you notice, well, I, I got two corals. I've already introduced two of my corals from my nine gallon. There's another little frag that I'll be uh, introducing to the tank. The sand is starting to get a, a little brown, but well, let's get back to what this video is all about. Okay, and here we are in front of the laptop and on the side as a backdrop, I thought I panned this and do this little video so you could see a little bit of the tank. Okay, when you open the EcoSmart Life, as I explained in the previous video on the programming, this is, this is the first thing that you get. The default is always going to be on the Radeons. So this is my uh, schedule. I have the schedule, where it's, as you see down here, uh, down here, these are the actual times that you can uh, set it up, which you do it from another screen, which I'm going to show you now. But this is my uh, schedule. The program that I use is the SPS AB Plus. Uh, like I said on the previous um, video, research and research on all this, even at Worldwide Coral, that's what they use. That's been proven to give the best results when it comes to growth and coloration of corals. Of course, not, not only that, uh, you have to uh, take into account different uh, elements that you might uh, introduce to the uh, water column, you know, like iron and, and uh, different vitamins and minerals that you have. But when it comes to lighting, the SPS AB plus is known as being the uh, best. So here's a, a, what I have. When you see here on the left side, uh, right here, what I did is I, I decided to set it up at 70% because I don't know how the corals are going to behave uh, when it comes um, to this light. This is one of the top of the line lights and it's very powerful. Uh, this, co uh, this tank is going to be mainly uh, LPS and of course I'm going to start to check out the SPS. So uh, for now, as a baseline, I'm setting uh, the light strength at 70%, as, as you see here, 70%. And then I have it uh, set up that it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning, and then it, uh, at 70%, of course, you know, that, that's the overall, but it starts at 70, and then it works up, as you see here, and although you have it at 70, but this program uh, allows it that at maximum amount of light that you would set, it's at 48. It keeps going and then it starts to ramp down and it ends at nine o'clock. So that's uh, what I have so far uh, when it comes to uh, the lights. And how to go about it? Well, if I was to set it up, of course you go here uh, to the scheduling, then you go to the templates, and then here, this is what I uh, selected, the Coral Lab, which is a known uh, method. Then you go to the sub-templates, and then this is the one that I picked, SPS AB+, and then of course here, I uh, this is the uh, default, but I went ahead and I changed this uh, to 11, and then to N at uh, 9. And then of course, if I was to set it, I would have hit set, but we're not. Um, I'm using what I just explained to you, so I just came back. Now, uh, when it comes to the Radeons, I'm sorry, to the Vortex and P10, this is what I actually did. I went ahead, and as I've explained on the previous video, uh, all these go on 12-hour intervals. Okay, now, what I did is I went ahead in the first amount of time, I switched it to Gyra. Now let me show you something. I know that I explained this before, basically, but something that I draw your attention to. Instead of going to the side, to, to these um, 
like let's say to these menus where you can pick them and drop them here okay i i discovered this you just go here and then here you you can actually pick what what you want this to be of course i uh selected the gyre i, I could have put constant speed or whatever and that would have actually uh switched it and then of course the the time intervals uh that i have here how they all start at 12 a.m to 12 p.m and then how i have it set at different pulse times you can add it uh to uh whatever amount of time uh you want and let's go back to cancel okay so this is what i actually did on the um vortex and as you go down the road then uh the next one came as you see uh reef crest and on and on and on now the amount of uh speed on all of these if you notice i went ahead and i adjusted them so for instance on the gyro i have it at 30 percent then you go to 50 and then on and on and on you can go ahead and adjust this right here you see it where it says uh speed i got 30 i could have put 100 or whichever So that's basically what I wanted to show you what uh, actual programming I did for now. Like I showed you again, you know, this is your uh, radions and then the vortex. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, and I thought I, I mentioned it briefly, this is my baseline uh, setup. What I'm trying to say is, is that I'm, I'm going to use this uh, programming for both, you know, the programming that you see for the Radeons, uh, for, for the Radeon and for the Vortec. I'm going to see how, how the corals behave because right now, as you notice, uh, I only have two corals. I have uh, a frag of the Monty Red Cap and then the Hollywood Spun, uh, Stunner. Now, when I start putting uh, other corals, LPS and SPS, I'll see how it behaves and I might have to change the uh when it comes to the light uh, i'm definitely going to keep it at sps uh, ab plus but what i'm referring to is the duration of time I, I might have to change it i might have to add a little more time or uh you know uh, uh, the period of the light i might have to add it or decrease it and when it comes to the uh the output of the light i, I might have to raise it from 70 percent as you see here i might have to go up to 80 or 100 or i might have to go down that uh, again this is the baseline and the same thing would go to the vortex the mp10 uh, this is what i have now uh, i might have to bring the uh uh like um let's say the um the uh, speed of each of these I, I might have to bring it up to 30 from 30 to 40 50 and at the same token i might have to bring him down but this is just a baseline what i'm using for now to uh start uh, the uh, actual tank, the parameters when it comes to the lights and when it comes to the uh, MP10, the vortex. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it interesting and educational. If you did, hit the thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And like I say at the end of all of my uh, videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.